Hello everyone. Thank you for coming back. This is Dan and we are once again going into Overclocked. This is a new chapter, new day. So let's uh, get started, shall we? And the uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to call Ingram. He had said, call him in the earlier morning or late evening. And we've done so and doesn't want to talk, but let's let's give it a try. Okay, I'll try again later. Yeah, I didn't think so. Terry, you jerk. You're probably diddling my wife, Kim. Yeah, me. Mr. McNamara, can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, what's up, Jeeves? Mr. Flynn? Sir? Uh, you Good morning, wanted to talk. Uh, Mr. Flynn. Oh, I'm a wreck. Have you got any mail for me? No, sir. Sir? Yes? Have you a moment to talk? Yeah, of course, sir. What's this about, then? Yeah. We've received a few complaints last night. What? Surely not about that thing in the bar. I don't know anything about that, sir, but perhaps your bar visit had an indirect bearing on events? You were slightly out of sorts. Well, yes, that may have been the case, but I, I got back to my room, no problem. Yes, we know that, sir. That's where you were screaming half the night. A whole string of guests have complained, and two have even checked out. Damn. Screaming? Me? I'm afraid so, sir. Oh. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm having some bad dreams at the moment. Uh, I'm going through some pretty stressful stuff in my private life. I understand entirely, sir. However, I ask you to understand that it is in the interests of all our guests that peace and quiet has to be maintained throughout the night. Fair. Yes, of course. Fair enough. Time. It won't happen again. Uh, I've got to go now. No hard feelings. Sir, one moment, please. Something else? We're kicking I'm you out. I'm afraid I must ask you if you can settle your bill. Uh, why is that then? I'm, I'm not leaving yet. The management have asked me to raise an interim bill. I'm very sorry. Is that a problem for you, sir? Uh, no. No, of course not. One moment. All right, let's give them our credit card. Jeez. There you go, then. Thank they're you. They're pressuring to leave. That's what they're doing. And card gets declined. Uh, you gonna say anything? We're good? Something not right? The card is blocked. Sorry? The card is blocked. I'll have to ask you for a cash payment. I... Don't have any cash on me. Uh, are, you, are you sure the cards are not working? Maybe there's a problem with the card reader. We've not had any other problems with it today. I'll check it, okay? I'll pay the bill when I get back. Sir, I'm afraid I have to insist that you... Oh, come on. I've got an appointment. My things are here. I'm not going to disappear. This evening, you said? Yes, for sure. Okay, then. Thanks very much. I've got to make a call. I've got to go. See you later. Have a good day, sir. That, that, that kind of sucks. I mean, that's kind of stupid, too. Like, all of a sudden, you're going to raise an interim bill. For real? Maybe Kim better blocked all the cards. Everyone can hear. Ah, uh, okay. Shoot. Part, as part of the divorce, maybe she, uh, she blocked his access to all the cards and stuff. But that's not that's not cool. They're not divorced yet. And he has just as much right to the assets as as she does. I'm assuming that's what she did. Hello? Kim, it's uh, Dave again. Ah, uh, you. Yeah, me. Uh, Only uh, me. You. Sorry. What's happened to the credit card? How come? How come? Because I can't get hold of any money, so I can't pay for anything. You get it? This is somewhat annoying. Have you had the card blocked, Kim? No. Is that supposed to be a joke? Have you bought anything expensive? Like designer clothes or something? Just watch your tone, David. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's like this. This is why I'm angry. I'm in New York without any money. I can't pay for my hotel because my goddamn credit card is frozen. Chill, man. Chill. Can you get your head around that or do you need a lawyer to help you out? 
Of course. Wow. Your problems are always the most important ones. God damn it, what's that got to do with it? I have no desire to be screamed at by you. Fair. Is there anything else? That's everything we need to talk about? Kim! Yeah, he has got some anger management issues. Like, I get it. You went through some tough stuff, man, but... Like, that's not cool. Can we get a hold of Terry now? Yeah. Okay, I'll try again later. No. Well. Are we gonna borrow money from Dr. Young? <laughs> yeah, as if he's gonna be cool with that. Nah, he's gonna be like, get the frick out of here. I should sort out the hotel bill first. Okay. Well, let's try your card here at the ATM. But it hasn't been working since. And what makes you think that if the, your card is blocked? Again? If your card's blocked, you're not going to. I'll call the bank. Okay, well, how do we call the bank? My premium card. It's got the emergency telephone number on it. Okay, there we go. I'd better find a drier place to phone from. Okay, fine. So picky, man. So picky. Alright. Better not in here. Everyone can hear. Wow, so picky, man. United Bank Trust, customer service. Your uh, credit card department, please. One moment, please, sir. Credit card department. David McNamara, Washington. <laughs> the same DC. guy. My premium card won't work. One moment, sir. David Walker McNamara, sir? Yes. The account has been frozen, sir. Blocked? Why? Uh, don't I have enough credit? I'm not going to be able to give you any more information over the telephone, sir. Oh, and why not? I'm the account holder. Uh, you want my PIN number? No, sir. A discussion with a bank advisor is always required in the case of a frozen account. That is? You'll have to go to the branch that issued it, sir. In Washington. That's how it is. Can I help you with anything else wow, today, sir? Wow, that's some no. bull. I'm pleased to have been of assistance. Thank you for using United Bank Trust. Goodbye. First of all, no bank would just be like, Oh, oh that bar, this is your account. You didn't even give me any of your, uh, your middle name or anything like that. And... Then he's like, yeah, you gotta go where you where they gave it to you. Really? Is this a credit union? Or is this a bank? But that doesn't that doesn't help at all. At all. You don't need to rush. The ferry's already gone? Afraid so. I missed it as well. Oh, shit. You got things to do on Staten Island? Yeah. Where are you working there? Oh, in uh, Staten Island Hospital. You're a doctor? Yes. I, you know, a shrink. <laughs> I hate you hate that. Yeah, I know. So I bet your business is booming, right? Who can be that? Oh, you know. All the crazy folks we have running around these days. You know what's funny? With my experience, it's the supposedly normal folks who are crazier than the crazy guys. <laughs> you mean people like you and me? <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Say... Do I know you from somewhere? Uh, maybe. Where have we met then? Uh, I think it was down at the pier. You travel a lot, I think. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, from the pier. And what do you do over there on Staten Island? <laughs> Don't like talking about that. I work for one of this country's biggest employers. Oh, Government. Yeah, a branch on Staten Island. They have branches all over the world. Hey, you heard about those kids they picked up in the city? Yeah, a little. Bad news. You working on that? That's me. Kind of interesting. And you getting anywhere? Yeah, surprisingly, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. We need to know what's going on with these crazy kids. The only so we can stop it happening to anyone else. Hey, like I said, these crazy kids, they're just normal, like you and me. <laughs> yeah, but we're not running around the streets naked, toting guns. Some people could be. That's the difference. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think the ferry's coming. So, Doc, you're late today. Yeah, well, we've had some issues. Yeah, I overslept, Mr. Ferry. You're looking the worse for wear. Thanks. I'm sure we're not standing out here in the rain, so you can tell me that. Doc, we got two pieces of bad news. Uh, Those two? Great, just what I need. Number one, we checked out the gun from the girl in cell four. It's uh -huh. an army model from the 60th. Damn, so that's that old. must establish where it comes from. Jason's tried everything, but there's no serial number, and there were 2.8 million of them issued. Ooh. There's a thousand of them on the black market. You asked the army? Sure. They're still checking their inventory, but we're not pinning our hopes to it. Yeah, I would. the second piece of news? While we were in contact with the army, we also did some checking on your file. Uh-oh. Yeah. And? Say, Doc, uh, are you sure there's nothing you'd like to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. So, what did those boneheads have to say about me? Your file was requisitioned by the NSA. What? Eight weeks ago. Way before this investigation. Come on, Doc. What have you been up to? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was at my practice, as usual. So why should the NSA be so interested in your army file? For real? I why? I have no idea, did I? I don't know exactly what's in the file. I've never seen it myself. Why were you discharged from the army? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? Because it has nothing to do with anything. There goes the anger. Doc, I'm not dead. Sorry. I'm not saying too much. Yeah, I get that impression. <laughs> I've got to go in with it. I've got work to do. Yeah, sure. I'll be in touch then. Doc? What else? Just think about it. Whether you might have something to tell me. I feel like uh, David is probably um, in denial or something and doesn't want to talk about what he has done. Nothing Okay, here. then. Okay. All right, let's see if Dr. Young is here and if he has something to say to us. I'm sure he does. Something very disparaging, I'm sure. Oh, you're such a great doctor and you're late. Hello, Dr. Young. You're late. I know. The, Not so. Uh, the detective kept me. Really? Really? Hmm. Is there a report on what happened last night? Did Tamara determine anything noteworthy? Tamara hasn't entered the wing since then. Why not? She was on night duty. You yourself told her not to expose herself to I was just to about to say that. I didn't that. mean like that. So those young people were without any observation? Great. No, I kept an eye on them. I also removed the restraints from number five. All of them are in a stable condition. Okay, well, okay. Thanks, Doc. I'd just like a word with you about what you said about my wife yesterday. I'm honored you'd like to speak to me about your wife, but your private life doesn't concern me. It obviously concerns you enough to make certain insinuations. I only know what one hears in certain circles. And what the rumor? David, please. It's no secret that your marriage isn't going well. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Who's saying that? There was a barbecue party you had a few years oh, ago. Oh, here we go, here we there go. there was an accident at this party, wasn't there? And as I hear it, you weren't exactly faultless for what happened. I knew Who's it. saying it was my fault? Who then? You invited your colleagues yourself. It was your army farewell party, wasn't it? Everybody could see just what kind of a man you really were. What kind of a man I am? So what kind of a man am I then? You're a pitiable fellow, David. And volatile, too. Definitely I volatile. I that you'll fulfill your function here in the way envisaged, since that is the only reason I allow you to set foot on these premises. Damn. Tell me what you really think, See Doc. You later. Like, what do you really think about me? Closed. Okay, well, I guess she doesn't come in until a lot later. All right, where do we start? Uh, hmm. Let's just start with cell one. Hi, son. So, how's it going? I'm not telling you anything more. How come? What's happened? You want to put us in jail, right? Who told you that? It's true, right? No, it's not true. Who told you this garbage? Doctor Did Young. I really kill somebody? Listen, son, I don't know a thing about what happened to you and the others. That's what I'm here to find out. Yeah, to tell the cops. Well, I do have contact yeah. with the police. But that doesn't mean that they will convict you of anything. 
So what then? You're a victim. I want out of here. Then, let's work on it. You got family, Doc? I'm married. Isn't that the For same now? thing? now? No. I don't think it is. Come on. I'm sure we can move on now. The night nurse, Doc. What about her? The night nurse told me we're all going to jail. Did wow! She? Forget it. Okay, I'll speak to her. That's... that's a pretty crappy He's thing He's not to ready do. yet. You're, you're there to take care of them and you go, You're all going to jail! You gonna... I'll leave her in peace for now. Okay, well, we're not talking to her. Though. Get out of here. Let's go to cell three. You ready to talk, bro? Uh huh. What? Uh huh. Uh huh. What does that even mean, dude? Okay. Well, let's go to cell four. Hello. Hi there. So, how are you today? Go away. Hey. Well, that's better than yesterday, anyway. I suppose. Well then. Let's try cell 5. Oh, well, you're not ready to kill people right Morning. off the bat now. You look a bit better. I think we'll try it without the cuffs. He already looks much better. Now, if I only knew a bit more about him. Well, you have this file, Doc, right here. But I guess it doesn't say very much. Hmm. Let me just see if tomorrow's Closed. in. Okay, well. So it is. Can we talk to the doc about tomorrow? Dr. Young? Yes. No. See you later. Locked. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So, how do we get started with can we use the My pendulum? pendulum? No, we can't use it. He already looks much better. Now, if I only knew a bit more about him. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try, I guess, hitting these, uh, tapes up, so... Yeah, uh, I don't know. If I if I hear some stuff, I'll, I'll bring you back. Alright, later. Alright, well, I went through all of the lo audio logs, and uh, nothing really... He already looks much better. Now, if I only knew a bit more about him. Yeah, so... Maybe we gotta... Maybe now that he's saying that, we gotta go talk to somebody else. Maybe Cell 3 will tell us a bit more. Uh-huh. Dang it. Alright, I'll go through the logs with him then. Alright, get you back again. Uh-huh. Well, that, uh, that didn't go over well. Jeez. Alright, uh... What, what, what went on here? Hi there. So, how are you today? Go away. Hey. Well, that's better than yesterday, anyway. Hmm. Well. That didn't help all that much. And... Cell 2 didn't really want to talk. Cell 1... He's not ready yet. And... Uh, let's just check Cell 2 real quick. 
did he say about her or she? Stayed? I'll leave her in peace for now. Okay. So it's three, four, and five that it seems like we can do something with, but cell three we don't have any kind of hint. Cell four just told us to go away. Cell five it says we need like we need a hint for um we just need a hint for like what to talk to him about. Closed. Yeah, that's closed. Need to see. I'm gonna try coming around to places and see what we've got. Describe to me where you are. It's the watchtower. How did you get there? I don't know. Hmm. As you can see, he went hmm, so I think this is where Damn we it. need to be. What is it? What's going on? The searchlight. It's shot out. Oh no. I hate her. Hmm. Yeah. Because the last session we had was with Cell 2, and she had made implications of Cell 4. I don't believe I tried playing any tapes for her. I think that was stupid, but it is what it is. Let's just go. She was on top of this watchtower. Somebody came along. I'm sure that somebody was you. Tell me about it. Tell me how that happened. I don't know anything about a watchtower. I'm sure you do. Concentrate. No, sure you not do. a watchtower. There's a hallway. Uh, and what? Blood. Whoa. I'm That's... in the corridor. There's... Uh. Oh, God. Is that blood? Blood. There's a huge pool of blood on the floor in front of one of the room doors. Where did all that blood come from? A I person? I gotta get rid of it, like now. Ugh. Cleaning blood is not the first thing that I would think to do. That's gross. Exactly, and probably unsanitary. No, not now. Not now. Okay. Okay. I'm trying no, to. No, not now. I'm trying to look for where there would be cleaning supplies. Maybe the kitchen? Yeah, I didn't think so. Here we go. Mop and bucket. I, I guess I should have just went with it. Here's the pool of blood. Without water, I'm just spreading it around. Brew. Okay, Lola, well, go get some water. I don't know that I'd be wearing that to clean up blood. And also, like, finding a pool of blood, don't you think that'd be something that you'd be like, wait, shouldn't I... Oh, come on. You find a pool of blood, I think the first thing you do is you call the police. Oh, well, at least 15 feet deep. So you need a rope. That's what you're saying. Okay. No, there's no way I'm going there. Uh, let's no, try. there's no way I'm going there. Okay. No, there's no way I'm going there. Got it. I don't know. Maybe I better see what's with this pool of blood. Well, I mean, I don't know where I'm getting water from. I mean, you're not going to get it from this thing. Or at least you don't want to. In the cellar, maybe? I hear something down there. I think somebody's trying to get the door open. No. What? No. You heard something. 
why don't you get go? Oh. I don't know. Alright, maybe we can use the bucket here at this thing. Oh. Faucet. There we go. There we go. Now, bucket. Alright, pull up. Alright, so let's grab the bucket. But uh, wa uh full water bucket. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. I can't rush with the bucket. Get rid of it quick. Where'd the blood come from? Do you have any idea? No. Nope. No. I don't want to know either. If that was a human... He's dead. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm saying. If it was a person's blood, don't you think you should... Did we put it in the blood? Girl, you crazy. If it was a person, you think you'd want to call the cops first? Maybe? No bleach or anything? There might be, like, human blood contamination could get you sick, man. Like, what if the person has diseases and stuff? Especially in a place like this, I wouldn't be surprised if there was tetanus or whatever. And it's still not even that clean, to be perfectly honest. I'm guessing we're gonna dump this in the sink. I don't think so. Okay. Well, you don't plan on putting it in the well, do you? I didn't see the bathroom. No. Maybe she does plan on putting it in the well. I'm sure people drink out of that, though. Ugh. Ugh. If that's the case, that's some serious logic flaw from these people. Oh my god, she does! Ew! That's blood, girl! That's blood, ew! A well at least 15 feet deep. Ugh. Ugh. I wanted to get in the other way. Let's just pass over. I'm gonna see if we can um, see what's causing the blood. Lara's room. Hmm. She's not there. I'll take a look around. Is she not here because she did? What? What's that then? What? The drawings. That is sick. What is it about the drawings? That's me, in a pool of blood. What? And next to me, there's a knife. Whoa, whoa. So that's why she took the knife? Yeah, that's gotta be why she takes the knife. I better take that with me. I've got to find her. Yeah, if you remember, they got stuck in that, uh, the jail cell together. And she said, I have your knife. Uh, this would be why. She's afraid that she's gonna that get stabbed. Is sick. Jeez. Jeez. Huh. Okay, there's nothing else here. Gotta check everything. All right, do we run to our room now? I'm guessing you're Victoria. No, not now. Okay. Uh, do we go to the, uh, the watchtower now? Now that we've got the knife and the gun? There, I can hear them calling. It's coming from the beach. Yep. And this is where she goes over and she shoots out the uh there she is up there on the tower 
you bitch. <laughs> She's calling for help. Yes, she is I'm calling gonna for help. I'm going to have a serious word with her. Why are you crying like that? I'm stuck. Help me down. Why should I? So you can kill me? What? I was in your room. I saw the drawings. What were you doing in my room? Where'd that blood come from in front of your door? You're asking me? You're not going to get far. Before I get myself killed... You're crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. She's they, lying. They both have I'll guns? Shoot. We're both shooting. Okay. No, you're not gonna do that. Tell me more. Jeez. What the heck, people? Everyone's out of line. Hi there. So, how are you today? Go away. Hey. Well, <laughs> that's better than yesterday, anyway. Alright, let's go uh, talk to Cell 2 and play the audio clips that we just got now. Like, maybe we can reveal a little bit more about why they were shooting at each other a little bit more. I mean, they each thought they were the other person was going to kill them, so, I mean, that could be it. But... Who knows? Who knows? Wait, we don't. She was self four. How come we don't have any audio for her? Evening. Yeah, because this is the morning, man. I'll leave her in peace for now. Alright, so played all the tapes and uh, talked to her and. Still nothing. Still nothing. Hmm. But we didn't really have tapes for her either. Yeah, cell four. And this is yesterday. But then this is evening. But I'm pretty sure this is what she talked to us about. Today. I'm in the corridor. There's oh god. Oh these refer to the date of when it happened, not to when we uh we talked to them. That's... that's a little confusing. Uh-huh. Hmm. Maybe if we play the log... here. Uh-huh. Alright, well that didn't go anywhere. Uh, I guess I'll try cell one. He's not ready yet. Let's play these tapes, just to see. He's not ready yet. Okay, playing the tapes there didn't do anything. Maybe we'll go to cell 5. Maybe after seeing them shoot at each other, that's when he gets involved. Subdues them, maybe. Because he did put them in, uh, in the, the jail, so maybe this is where he comes in. Alright, so... I went through these, and he went, hmm, to those, these two parts, so let's take a listen. There she is. Up there. On the tower. The bitch. She's calling for help. <sighs> that sounded like he was stretching or something. She's lying. I'll shoot. We're both shooting. I'll kill her. No, you're not going to do that. Tell me more. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, sounds like me. Hmm. Two right. girls are arguing. On the beach. Then you come along, yes? Tell me about it. Tell me, what were you doing before you got to the beach? There's the tower. The watchtower. Maybe that's after he blew up the gate. No, he was on the watchtower. Oh, it's a different watchtower. Somebody's shooting. Shots. Who's shooting at who? The two girls. <laughs> she comes up behind her nonchalantly. Are you insane? Give me that thing. She wants to kill me. That's ridiculous. I can see that. How did she get up there? How do I know? For all I care, she can damn well croak. 
Help her down, will you? And cut the bullshit. What's that supposed to mean? You'll find out soon enough. What? So what that's is where we need to be. Back there, last cell on the left. Move it. You're not serious. Shut your mouth and get moving. How did, how did she wrangle them and take their so weapons? So you're not going to stick us in the same cell. Oh, you're both going in the same cell. Screw you both. Okay, I've got the two of them locked in, and now... Now? now? Gonna go have a drink. You saw it with Cell 3, he just goes, has a drink, and chills. Time to get packed. Okay. You locked up the two girls. And then you went into the kitchen. Where did you get the cell key from? I don't know. Did somebody give it to you? I, I don't, don't know. know. Did you? I, I don't, don't remember. <laughs> okay, 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 cool it, cool it. I'm going now, okay? We'll we'll take a break. Alright. So let's um let's talk to the two girls first. Maybe they Well Maybe we talk to self three. Cause this is is kinda where he comes in is uh after self five goes to the kitchen. Oh, well, let's check cell five. Is this it? Alright, there wasn't anything uh -huh. there. There wasn't anything there, so maybe not. Um I guess let's try self four and two. See what they have to say. Hi there. So how are you today? Go away. Hey. Well <laughs> that's better than yesterday anyway. Alright, well, the audio logs didn't do anything for her. Uh, let's try cell two. It does involve the two of them, so maybe... Let's see. I'll leave her in peace for now. Alright, same for her. So... Did I check cell three? I think I did, yeah. That's what, that was my initial thought, was going to cell 3. Check cell 1. Are you okay to talk? Let me, let me just play these audios first. Hmm. Ooh, he said hmm to this one. Alright, let's hear it. Somebody's shooting. Shots? Who's shooting at who? The two girls. Hmm. I wonder if he can, came in around this time. Okay, I've got the two of them locked in, and now... Now. Time to get packed. Alright, well, let's talk to him now. It's dark. They're shooting on the beach. Girls are screaming. Where are you? I'm outside now, in a wooded area. Somebody is behind me. Somebody is behind me. Gloves. Take them. Take everything. Oh, it looks like a bunker. Here's the fence in the back here. There's the entrance, blocked by a stone slab. I've got to get that thing open somehow. Use the gloves and try to pull on it. No. Is it too heavy? Yeah, I would think so. Need some leverage. It's too heavy. I'm going to have to move it somehow. Yeah, so I guess we need to find something to help with uh, getting it moved.
I'm just looking for, like, a little icon change to see if, like, there's something here. Because it's not always obvious that you need to click on something. Uh, please forgive me. Oh, it's a different area. Okay. Let's head this way. There. What's the There's something lying there. A roll of barbed wire. Alright, well, let's get the gloves and go... Alright, well, I guess you gotta go investigate it first. Alright, now use the gloves to take it away the barbed wire. Alright, and now we've got the stick. I've got it. Okay, okay. Now let's use this bar. Damn it. What's that? What? The heck is that? A deer or something? I'd better see first where the screams are coming from. All right, all right, all right. out of its misery. No. I can't do that. Uh, I think this is what he does. Oh, no. This must be where the blood comes from. The deer. Sorry, Bambi. That's terrible. Oh! Oh! Didn't even change the I camera don't. angle. Oh, jeez. Uh, maybe this isn't where it's from. Unless someone else brings it back. Jeez. God. Just get out of here. Yeah, there. let's... There is somebody. Who? Who's there? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, that's cell three! Alright, well, I guess that's who we talk to next. So that was cell one. I'm outside now. Hmm. Yep. There's the entrance, blocked by a stone slab. I've got to get that thing open somehow. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. What's happening? A deer. There's a deer caught in the barbed wire. Can you free it? No. No, it's impossible. Is it badly injured? It's going to be hours until it dies. What are you doing now? There's only one thing I can do. No. I can't do that. God, just get out of here. There, there is somebody. Who? Who's there? Hmm. Right, so this one was unneeded. He said hmm to these. I've just played them recording something that took place in the woods. Yeah. You were there as well, right? Yeah. Think. Go back. What happened before? Where were you? In a in a cellar, I think. Ashback. I'm in a cellar, and there's a steel door. They've all gone crazy upstairs. Well, you I'm are gonna try and get help. I can hear some kind of rushing noise. Sounds like it could be a water pipe. You're not uh, quite innocent of everything either, my dude. A code lock. I've got to get this door open. Do you know what's behind the door? I've got to get help. 
I've got to get through there. Alright, well, I don't know this code. Take the fire extinguisher. That thing looks heavy. I won't be able to carry it far. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess we need to know where we're bringing it. I guess there's not much here. Locked. It's not moving an inch. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, and I'm sure we gotta get a code from somewhere. Let's just head up to the, the corridor. No, I've got to try and get this door open. Okay, well, in that case, we've got to do something here. Yeah, my only guess would be using the fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher to take down the door, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's not gonna work, man. It's gonna blow up in your face. Blow up in your face! Whoa, whoa, it worked? Maybe there wasn't anything in the extinguisher left. Okay, I can get the wheel to turn a bit now, but I still need to open the code lock. Uh, well, why didn't we do that first, man? Jeez. Now I've got to try and get this door open. What? But we don't have any hint as to what this could be. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Okay, I can get the wheel to turn a bit now, but I still need to open the code lock. What's the code? No, I've got to try and get this door open. Uh, bro. I don't know. Okay, I can get the wheel to turn a bit now, but I still need to open the code lock. Yeah, but I need a... Uh, game. Game. I need a hint. Like, how do you expect me to put a, a, a code in when you don't give me, like, any... anything? Honestly. Oh, light switch? Jeez. What? Hmm, it's flickering. <coughs> Looks like the power circuit's been broken. Well, these numbers are well worn, so. So they're flickering on a timer. All right, so I'm guessing this can't, this last one can't be one. What? 
I have no clue what's going on here. What in the world? I'm not seeing a pattern to this. I feel like it's got to be these buttons. But how are these buttons used? Let's turn off the light so it stops flickering. And we know it's going to use numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. But it's not 1, 3, 5, or 7. 1, 3, 5, 7. I mean, it could also be 1, 1, 1, 1. But we don't get any indication here. Turn the lights back on and see if there's anything else around here that we can look at now that we've got some light. Because that thing keeps flickering regardless, no matter what we, we type. There are sparks here. So the light like car the power circuit's been broken. Yeah. And I can't I, I don't give an I don't see any hint or anything around here about what the numbers could be. Not that at least not to my eye. Uh, I went and checked the guide, and, uh, yeah, we're supposed to remember something that he said a while back. And according to the guy, he said that he knew a code for something. Looks like the power circuit's been broken. And that it started with 1-5. How am I supposed to remember something like that from that long ago? Let's just turn the light off so that the power works. Or at least the, the cold loop works. It was 1-5. There. Ah, I think I got it. Oh my god. How am I supposed to remember that? It's all clear. I'm opening the door. Uh, where does it lead? Damn it. I don't remember. It looks like a radio room. A radio. Carry on. What happened next? What did you do in the room? I don't know. I just don't know anymore. You're real close, I'm sure. A radio room, you say? A I've got an idea. Wait a minute. Uh, I need to check out a couple of things. Check out a couple of things. What?
Did anybody else mention a radio? This guy was the one that we used the radio to get, like, him talking to begin with. I'll leave her in peace for now. Okay, so nobody. So maybe we must do something in the present time. Because he did say he was going to check into something, but what's he going to check into? It's a radio room. Are we supposed to contact Moretti? Let's just talk to the doc real quick. I don't think anything's going to come of it, but we're already here. Dr. So. Young? Yes. And I did See you not later. Not. Okay, so let's get out of here. Is Tamara back? Closed. No. Okay. So, let's go outside. It's still raining. All right, let's try calling already. NYPD, Moretti. Hello, detective. Doc, what's happened? Can't you wait for our date? What, you got some news? Sorry, I gotta skip the date. I need some rest, I think. What? Now listen. No, really, I'm not doing too good today. Like I say, that job's no good for you. So, is there anything new? What are the crazy kids up to? Detective, I need some info on radio traffic from last week. Can we get that? From military frequencies? Across the whole country? Say, Doc, are you on the same planet? Just the New York City area will do. Hmm. I'm gonna have to ask Jason. I suppose we might be able to get something. So what are we looking for? SOS calls. Probably messed up ones, like not professional. Uh-huh. And what do you want those for? I'll tell you when we meet, okay? I could be way off the mark. Jason's gonna love it. He's in rough waters with his missus. They're all thanks to you. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yeah, ah, spreading really the, spread the love. Happy, huh? So I'll call you when I know more. Thanks, Detective. All right. All right. All right, so are we waiting for his call? Like, what's, what's going on here? Oh, message. Is it him already? Man, they work fast. How is he in trouble with his missus if he gets back this quickly? Hi, Doc. Jason has found something useful. Whether it's you, something. Whether it's useful, I don't know yet. Ciao. We're ready. Okay. Well. Uh... All right. I guess we have the MP3. So I guess let's go talk to him and see if he uh -huh. has something. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, radio transmission MP3. Uh, bro. Uh-huh. How do I listen to this? We don't have a computer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. So... I went around, talked to everybody, and couldn't get anywhere, and got stuck. And so, uh, yeah, there's, boom, a new folder. Did not know. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Thank God for guides, man. I, w I, I never would have checked down there. I, I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know. If I had a scroll wheel, hmm, that uh, that would have helped out. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Do you know that voice on the radio? It's yours. Why did you send that? And where? Try to remember. Tell me exactly what happened. You opened the door. And then? And then? Ominous. Okay. 
Describe to me where you are. Looks like a radio room. A radio room. Desk. Just a few old documents. Okay. Sure. Light switch. Oh. God. What is it? I've put the light out. I can hardly see a thing anymore. Alright, we'll turn it back on. You big baby. Filing cabinet. Locked, of course. Yeah, of course. Jeez, calm down, music. Whoa. I've somehow got to get this thing working. Well, what's broken about it? I've got to get this thing working somehow. Power? It doesn't seem to have any power. All right, well, maybe there's... Tell me more, what's happened to the radio? All of the connections have been ripped out. What? You serious? Are you being serial right Not now? Much to see. What are you talking about? Grab the rags. Okay. Do we clean it off? But all the, if all the connections have been torn off, I mean, don't you got to reconnect them? Need more light. But, but we turned the lights on. It doesn't oh, seem to have any power. There's a power plug here. So let's see if it'll work now. All right, power. Woo. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. That doesn't look good. That's what I was saying. Is there anything here? Just That'll a help? few old documents. Okay, I guess not. I guess not. Got it. Got it. We don't want to touch that. Let's go back over here then. I get this thing working somehow. Can we look at the connections on the back now? More light. Hey. Uh, okay. Let's remove the bulb. Oh, we gotta turn off the light. There's still power there. Yeah, I know. Grab it. Grab it! Still way too hot. Alright, use the rag. Okay, Do it, I've rag. Got it. Let's put it in this lamp, I guess. So let's hope the light still works. I'm sure it does. It's not often that you, you replace go. a light and then it's like, oh, uh, it, it, like bulb's broken now. It's not often that that happens. Am I supposed to just guess? R for red, maybe? Uh, jeez. I don't know. I mean, red, purple, yellow, green? I don't know. Is that going to that one, maybe? This one maybe goes here. This one here? Is that... is that good? No. 
No, of course not. Nothing. I'm guessing that the connections are wrong. Oh, you think? Am I supposed to just guess? Like, really? Is there a wiring guide? Morse code and some handwritten notes. So... I can't make out what this says. I always remember that this... something was... started by a mouse? This has got to be the uh, the clue, right? One is R. Two is four. Three is two. Four, three. All right, let's just unplug all this. All right, so I'm guessing one is red. And then this is two, three, and four. Let me just give that a try. R is one. Second one in four. Third one in two. Second one in four. Third, third one in two. Let's give this a try now. Ah, it's working again. Woo! Yeah, boy! Hello? Can anybody hear me? How come nobody's answering? Damn it. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gunshots. Who's shooting the thing? The door's open. Yeah, you think? What's happening? Somebody shot out the radio. Who the hell? Oh, I For gotta real. get it. I gotta get him. Well, wonder who that could be. Uh huh. My guess is it's got to be cell 5, just because he had a gun. He already looks much better. Now, if I only knew a bit more about him. Well, I played the logs, and that didn't do anything for this guy. I guess cell 1 also had um, a gun, so maybe let's try him. Okay. Tell me more. Hey there. So, how are things? Come on. I'm sure we can make progress here. Oh. Okay, well... We're in the kitchen. All five of us. Okay, which one of you guys started that shit out there? Definitely a wacko. Well, then we know exactly who it was. <laughs> you admit it? <laughs> I've done Burn. nothing! You've been going crazy here for days. Pack it in. Or what? If anybody here's crazy, then it's you. You ought to be pleased I got these guns. Now cut it out, you guys. It's just stupid. We're all driving each other crazy. Let's just see how we're all gonna get out of here, okay? We gotta get help. We can't wait a whole week more. I'm not gonna hold out for Maybe it's a part of the test to see how we react. That wasn't in the script. I sure didn't come here to get myself massacred. Look, let's split up. Each one looks in a different part of the camp for a way out. Anyone finds anything, he calls the others, and then we're out of here. Awesome. You got a better plan? Well, I think it's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the gate out here. I'll take a look at the door in the cellar. I'll go to the beach, then. And you are going in the woods. In the woods? Why? Why me? Why? I like it better if you're a long way away. You scared <laughs> of the dark or something? You're welcome to go look in the well. Okay, that's enough. He's going into the woods. You made your point. And... And me? You keep an eye on our rooms. 
and clean up this mess while you're at it. What? What? You can do that yourself. Don't make a big deal out of it. With that sick idiot? We're agreed then. The moth stays in the corner. All clear then. Let's get to it. Be careful. We'll meet back again here later. The conversation was pretty disjointed. Okay, you were armed. And you were looking for a way out. Yeah. What was scaring you so much? I don't know. Something happened in the night. Can you still remember where you were? No. But... But? The images are becoming clear. Doc? Yeah? You staying here tonight as well? No. I'm going back to my hotel. I've got a meeting. Why? I'm scared. You're safe here, son. Don't worry about it. And He's what if the nurse not. comes again? Or the doctor in the white coat? You don't need to be afraid of them. I'm responsible here. And I'll make sure nothing happens to you. I don't know that you can make that promise. You're not here. You don't have authority, really. But everyone's just talking over each other, talking about different things. And it sounded like they were there by choice, but being tested because they're talking about being tested, a part of the test. They need to leave. Maybe it's like a survival thing or maybe it's an experiment. I, I, I don't know. And uh, that, Cell 5 brought guns? What, what did he think he needed guns for? He's not ready yet. Jeez. Hey, Doc, can you uh, make sure these kids are taken care of tonight? Dr. Young? Yes. I'm finishing a little earlier today. Oh, yes? You made such good progress then, or is the bar calling once again? Uh, oh, Dr. you heard Young about the that. Former. All five are making excellent progress. I'm pretty certain that we're going to make a decisive step forward tomorrow. Uh-huh. For sure. Now I have another commitment. So I'm going to start tomorrow straight off with a girl in cell two. She was the one who came here first. It's a fair bet we'll be able to make the best progress with her. Then you best get going. There was one more thing, Dr. Young. A patient told me today that your and Tamara's presence was causing them some anxiety. What? Which patient told you that? That's quite unimportant. It I just is. wanted to say again that you should leave the five in peace. No medication and no other intervention. And please, can Tamara keep away from the cells? And if there are problems? Then call me. I've got to go. See you in the morning. Well, see you later. I, I was kind of just coming to talk to the doctor about what, yeah, Sal once said. It just was a joke, but I mean, it ended up with something. So I guess we're leaving. Um, we're going to meet Moretti at the bar, I think. Wow, it's already night? Jeez. And this is early, my dude? You sure? <laughs> Stop oh, smoking, home, man. Get yourself to bed. You're gonna die out here. I got a job here, Doc. But it's not a job to die for, is it? You know what I find funny, Doc? I get the feeling you're even further down the line than me. What does hey, that mean? I hear things. Uh-huh. What have you heard that? That maybe you got one or two problems yourself. Maybe What's a little that more. Supposed to be? Who's telling you that? You're out here the whole day long. Hey, no problem. It ain't so bad. You can talk to me. I know all that stuff. Hold I it. know all that stuff. You heard what I was saying to the detective out there by the gate? Problems with your wife, eh? I know about that shit, Doc. And I'll tell you something. Forget it. You're getting the short straw. Yeah. I've got no idea. Listen, Miller, we hardly know each other. My private life has nothing to do with you. Nothing of what the detective and I were discussing has anything to do with you. You just keep out of it. And stop with the eavesdropping, okay? It's my job. You forgotten? I'm the security guy. You had eight hours training. You have no idea about my job, my life, or my problems. And it better stay that way, or there'll be trouble. <coughs> Are you gonna put a gun to our face? <laughs> you see or his that? face? <coughs> what? You're getting aggressive. You're threatening me. You've oh, yeah. got a real problem. Yeah, no he does. More. It's you with a problem, and if you're gonna carry on like this, you're gonna have two. You're yeah. nothing more than an unemployed guy with homicidal tendencies. You're a... Yeah. You just keep it up, Doc. Come on out with it. Yeah. You... you? Yeah, come on. <sighs> your words are your weapon, David. That's enough. 
I've had a tough day. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> you gotta get that work on, man. That's not cool. Alright, so we were meeting Moretti at the, the bar, right? And it's nighttime, so... Looky here. <clears throat> you gonna keep quiet, Riker? Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Biatch. Evening, Randall. Evening, Riker. How you doing? Hi. Right. Everything okay? Up to now, yeah. Oh. <laughs> up till now, yeah. Listen up, Randall. I'd uh, like to apologize for last night. I didn't want to start a fight in here. I've got enough trouble as it is. Uh, that's okay. Wouldn't it be nice if we could all get along without guns in the future? I've already said that to Riker. It just wasn't my day yesterday. Then let's hope that it stays with just the one day then. Okay. Can a man get a drink here? Whiskey? Yep. And uh, vodka for my pal Riker, right? Yep. Kiss and makeup. All right. Another one? Mm. You're a pretty tough guy, Doc. You think so? You don't really look like it. I'm not proud about it. It can't do any harm when a guy can be assertive from time to time. Oh, yeah. It can. Yeah. Depends with who. Still mm -hmm. problems with your wife, Doc? More than ever. How'd you figure that out? I don't know, Doc. What did you do with your missus? Did you get uh, assertive oh, with her? Oh, I'm too? sure he did. I just did a whole bunch of stupid stuff. You, you know. You didn't. What? Hit her? No. No. I didn't touch a single hair. Never. It was an accident. Understand? It was just an accident. Sure. An accident? Sure. Yeah. Sure it was, Doc. Come on. That's all in the past. You want another? I'm not so sure that would be good for me right now. Okay, then give me another one. Chin up, Doc. You'll get things fixed for sure. Yeah, maybe. You know, the Nile's more than just a river in Egypt. I gotta go. Randall, uh, can you put it on the tab? Hmm. You broke, Doc? No, no, just got no cash on me. Is that okay? As long as you're not gonna leave the state. No worries, I owe you. Right then, till tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow, Riker. You're not still pissed off, are you? Not an issue. Cheers. All right. I gotta go. I'll come back again sometime. So, I guess we're not meeting Moretti. I thought... Oh, yeah, he said he he's gonna break off that... Um... That, uh... Man, the card's still... Uh, or what are we gonna do with, uh... Mr. McNamara. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, I know. I'm coming straight over. Yeah. He is upset! Is boss Mr. yelling Flynn? at him? Sir? This is really awkward for me, but, um... About the bill. Yes. How should I say it? There's a um, small problem with it. How should I understand that, sir? Now then, it's uh, like this. Okay, listen, my account has been frozen. I have to go to my bank in Washington to reactivate the account. How unpleasant. You don't have any cash? No. I still don't have any. And you don't know anyone who could help you out? No. Nope. Uh, that, that is perhaps? Look, okay, um, give me until tomorrow evening. I'll fix it. I will pay. You know that, don't you? Very well, sir. I'll inform the management of the situation. But please, sir, please, let's not have any more difficulties in your room. That's the a extra expenses you request. don't make it any easier to explain to the hotel manager about your outstanding account. Also uh, no, fair. No, 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 don't worry about it anymore. I won't disturb anyone else here again. I've got to go. See you yeah. later. Have that was days. awkward. I would hate to have that conversation. Oof. Uh, maybe we can call Terry, have him help us out. Did say call him in the late evening. Come on, Terry. Talk to me. Ingram. Ingram. Terry, at last. Thank God. David. 
So what's up? I need help. Really? <sighs> David. What? You're not making sense anymore. You need to get treatment. Now, don't talk nonsense. I can't help you, David. You've got to hit bottom before you can regain your perspective. What has Kim been telling you? David, she never deserved what you did to her. What did I do to her? You're Ooh. driving her nuts. She's scared of you. Uh-huh. She told you that? I'm the one who's been driven nuts. Bro, she no, got a restraining not. order. You're just getting drunk all the time. It's enough that she's almost blind. Now you have to change things. I'm hanging up. See you later. Oh, stop it, David. It's no use anymore. Terry. What? I trust you. I'd like you to help me. Will you help me? I won't help you destroy your wife's life any further. Okay. So that's your view of friendship. You know what? I can do without that. If that's what you want to do. Okay. Well. Uh, do we talk to Moretti? I mean, what's he gonna do? We just met him. Maybe he can talk to the bank? I don't know. Who were you supposed to get in touch with, my guy? <phone rings> Nothing. So, who are we gonna contact? I mean, it's not Kim, right? Is it? I mean, she does. She wants nothing to do with David. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, who was David thinking of when he was thinking he could contact someone to help him out? Hopefully I can get some sleep in the next few days. If only these goddamn dreams would stop. No, I can't sleep yet. Alright, well then, who are we supposed to contact? Yeah, the bank's not gonna... gonna have anything. The bar, no. Who were you no, thinking? No. I've got other things to do. David, who were you thinking? Um, let's just try calling the bank, I guess. I don't There's know. There's no point in calling again. I didn't think so. So, what do you want me to do, David? My bags? From our house. Jeez. That's... Oh yeah, she did say she was gonna send them. I guess this is what we needed to do. How did I not notice these bags earlier? Is it the divorce letter? Oh, are you gonna have another incident in your room? Don't do it! Don't do it! You already owe a lot of money! Oh, he's gonna lose it. Punch! Oh, he is so peeved right now. There it is, the fist. Wind up! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's got serious problems. Like, serious. Oh, it didn't actually do it. Okay, okay, okay. That happened in his head, I guess. Alright, I think it's... It's time for bed, my guy. It's time for bed. No, I can't sleep yet. Why? Alright, you're gonna call Kim? Call Kim, call Kim. Uh, 
Alright, now she wants to pick up. After we read the letter. Hello? Kim, it's David. Uh, I have to talk to you. Uh, can't it wait till morning? It's the middle of the night. No, it can't wait till morning. Have you been drinking? I'm calling about that little surprise you sent me. You're drunk, David. No, I'm not. Can't we just talk about something else? About this letter I have in front of me? There's Add. nothing to say about that. Add oh, in no? front of you. You want a divorce? After ten years? I should have gone sooner. I thought Ooh. we'd worked it out. I thought you were going to give us another chance. I tried. When I get back, we'll get your eyes laser. I've heard about a specialist who... Stop it, David. I can see your situation well enough, thank you. Better than you. I can't go on like this. It wasn't my fault. God, what am I supposed to do? It, it, it wasn't my fault. Sure. It's never your fault. <laughs> the accident, the outbursts, getting fired, the drinking. None of that's your fault. So what do you want to hear? Nothing. I don't want to hear anything anymore. You called me. I'm sure you'll find a new apartment soon enough. You're ruining everything. There's nothing left to ruin. It's her I'm tired. Fault. I've got to go. Wait. Good night, David. Wait. What then? Okay, okay, you're right. Um, but I still need my papers and bank documents, and, uh, c can you get to New York tomorrow and bring them with you? Why should I do that? Kim, let's not end this on the telephone. Please. Okay, then. But I'm not coming to your hotel. You don't have to. Um, we can meet in Central Park tomorrow at 8. Okay? Uh, come to the lake. Kim? Are you still there? We'll, we'll meet tomorrow then? I'll call you if something else comes up. Okay. Till tomorrow then? Good night. Ladies, if you're in a volatile relationship and there's been physical abuse and you want to break it off, don't meet up with them in person. I mean, it'd be nice to break up in person, you know, uh, have the decency to do that. But if they're prone to outbursts and physical abuse, don't do it. Kim's not do not making a good decision with that, unless she, she brings Terry with her, maybe? But, yeah, I, I wouldn't feel safe, even in public. People do stuff in public, too. Record date, Tuesday, November the 13th, 2007. Current examination status? Further recollection and reconstructions have been successful with all patients. All patients have revealed a thematic as yet unknown threat circumstance. Whether this is a collective delusion or relates to a real event cannot yet be established. That the five persons were at one and the same place can now be considered true. Indications of this being a military property are strengthening. In particular, the patient in cell number three refers to a radio room and a military frequency has yielded a corresponding signal. Regardless, there has been no information forthcoming from the authorities concerning any such installation. The condition of the patients continues to be stable. Communication with all patients has improved. Fewer external stimuli are becoming necessary for the sessions. I anticipate further progress with the therapy. <sighs> Confidential note. Strange things are happening. The detective with whom I'm working has told me that the NSA have asked to see my own personal army records. I ask myself, what has the NSA got to do with my work here? Mm -hmm. I can't get rid of the suspicion that this has got something to do with my discharge from the army. My work with simulators only has a passing connection with this job. And Kim's accident. No. The investigations were closed a long while back. Although, what? Uh, who knows? What? Maybe Kim's been in touch with them. I no longer know what else I should say to her. If I could give her my own eyes, I'd do it. She sends things to me at the hotel almost every day. I'm afraid that she's serious. And I can't do anything. When I call her, she's I, serious. I lose it, and that only makes things worse. I've got to calm myself down. Maybe I can still sort things out. No. Maybe. No, I'm you're too far gone. Every night. The folks in the hotel are giving me strange looks. <sighs> Confidential note ends. Yeah, it's already too late, man. It's already too late. You've got to be an entirely different person at this point. <sighs> Life spiraling. Whoa, chapter four already? Holy cow! This is a long video. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for the length of this video. Uh, hopefully, uh, your preferences for the longer videos. You can always pick up where you left off, but... I ought to uh, call Terry. Yeah, I think so.
Oh, well, uh, we'll just finish this up first before we go anywhere. Ingram? Hi, it's me. David. Hey, uh, sorry about yesterday. I was a bit down. My nerves. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the crap I'm dealing with. Now that's a surprise. Terry, you've got to lend me some cash. Two thousand dollars. Can you send it to me? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> sure am. Kim has had the credit card account frozen. So, can you do it? No. No? Whoa. Uh, how come you're not solvent? I can't endorse that, David. You, you can't endorse what? You're all out. Can't you see that? Kim hasn't overdrawn the account, David. Why are you lying? Of course she has. She can't get any dough herself. That... that can't be true. Oh, yeah. It's true, all right. Why? She told me some other things about you, David, as well. Things which always somehow seem to sound different from you. You need to get treatment right away. What has Kim been saying? She yeah. told me about the party, David. You were drunk. You threw the gasoline bottle at her. Oh. The bottle landed in the grill, and it was your fault. I thought That's not true. No, I David. So. It is true. It was an accident. No, it was your fault. It's about time you faced up to that. It is not true. Now hold it right there. It was the same thing with your army discharge. Oh, let's you hear were drunk, about this. And you attacked one of the test guys in the simulator during the session. I, what? I. It's there in your file. My file? Where'd you get that from? Frank requested it. My file is with the damned NSA. Not anymore. Frank has a copy for the divorce proceedings. Oh, that'll That's go well for her. Got to be the lowest? No. The lowest is what you do. And what gets me is that I've been putting up with it. But what you do to Kim, David? That's unforgivable. So what do I do with her? Has she told you she takes a knife to bed with her? A Damn! Knife. A knife. She doesn't Whoa. sleep nights anymore. And the reason for that is you. Why has she never told me that? Don't scream at me. You should have gone into treatment right away. As soon as you came out of the army, you're not going to save your marriage anymore. But maybe you can at least save yourself. Terry. I can't believe it. What's happened to us? The question is, what's happened to you? Maybe PTSD, you'll find maybe? out. I hope you do. What's happening with Kim? Can I... I'm looking after her. I gotta go. Take care. Holy jeez. That's a bombshell right there. But I guess, uh, what better way to end the episode, right? <laughs> end it on a high note. Uh, we're in a new, um... We're in a new day now. A uh, new chapter. I think now's a good time to stop. A lot happened in that episode. Oh my god. Like, tons of stuff. Whew. Can't wait to see what happens next. I hope you can't wait either. And that you'll come back. And join me for the next one. Until then. Bye.